Good morning, YouTubers. Well, yeah, I was just on my exercise, morning exercise, and um, I just wanted to tune in and think, um, think about um, people who've lost their loved ones during all this COVID-19. Um, but it's obviously a flu or something that's going about. It's obviously a flu and that that's a form of flu that's going about that's killing people. But what I don't understand is people die of flu every day. I know that it's actually the respiratory system. I know it's different strain of flu or whatever it is. I don't. I, I, I'm not. I, I just don't really listen to the news that much because it's that much. Let's just say. Let's put. Let's leave it at that. But <coughs> I watch things and make my own mind up in things. So basically, I'm not a sheep that follows whatever going on in the news. I don't think. I think a lot of you have realised what goes on in the news, and you're just a sheep following, yeah. So I make my own news up. Like in my, for me, this is just truly what I believe in. That um, people are dying of natural causes, like ill, like of flu, of, of, of maybe a COVID nineteen, but um, but. Maybe not of COVID-19. I'd just like to know what your thoughts were if there is this disease. Obviously, there is a flu out there. There is whatever. There is a convoy thing that's whatever and it is whatever. But um, do you think it's this, this is killing people? Or do you think the statistics, they're putting people down as convoy deaths when it's just like flu? Um and other things. So, I'd like to know your views and comments with um, I, your opinions, your opinions and all that and stuff like um, conspiracy theories. I'd like to hear some of them. Because I've got a few driving around my head at the minute and I don't really want to put money here yet because obviously I'm trying to help people with mental health and stuff, but. I, I'm trying to get round it all now and see where I'm back to the lake where I walk. It's like, it's like when you go somewhere for happy times, mate. It's just, it just makes me happy round here. So it's a good start today. It's about eight o'clock in the UK in the morning. Got to go on a nice five good care walk. Have something nice to eat then. Oh, fuck it. But, but back to topic, yeah. Um. I just wanted to know what you thought of it. I just don't know. I just don't know how to grasp it. Just, just, just because of the yeah, no, but yeah, no, but yeah, but yeah, no, but no, no. <laughs> that speech yesterday or whatever it was, I don't even know. I think I could have done better in the kitchen on a Sunday morning. But on the other hand, um, I'll be staying in. <laughs> I'll be going on one isolated walk like I was doing a day, keeping away from everybody. And I mean, I will be staying away from everybody. Um, another thing is, um, how are people coping with all this? See, I went through it all last year about the COVID bit, but, but it's um, it's horrible not being able to leave your house. I, I could leave my house and I didn't want to, I got to see it, it's horrible. I'd like to be locked up in prison anyway. No chance. But yeah. Um, if anyone's got any questions or anything to ask me, I'm just doing little vlogs every day. Just, just, just I just try to help them with people with um, anxiety and depression because I know how bad it is, mate. I know how bad and how serious that disease is. It's a horrible disease. I will not miss it on many people. I won't go with the people that I wish it on, mate. But you usually probably agree, but I won't miss it on many people, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's people that I don't like as well, and I would never wish it on them, mate. So it's not, it's something, it's something that it's hard to come out with in men. And it's, I think it's because men are that proud of, oh, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm big. Look, I'm, I'm 20 or 22 stone odd, mate. I'm a tank, but I'm a big mammy's boy, so. But it even took me four years to go to the doctors and talk about it took me four years so but yeah the first thing is if you have got problems with your mental health 
and you do think that you need to talk to people, the, first, the best person to talk to you about is your doctor. My doctor, I'm not going to mention her name on here, but she's absolutely fantastic. All she's gone out, bent over backwards to help me out, put me on the right medication. Um, but as I say, um, I just got to plan on walking for her every morning because I haven't had a doctor's appointment for a couple of weeks, so I'm just going to see and tell her how much I try to improve. I try to improve every month because I won't be back at work in 12. That's me here, mate. But uh, starting from the bottom again. But I'm going the way back up. But there's always someone in a worse situation than you. And I know that's horrible to say that then, yeah, but imagine what they're going through. And imagine what keeps them awake at night. And um, imagine what their family's going through. Imagine what other people are going through that are known and friends. And you get what? You get my gift. See, we haven't missed the happy place. Anyone seen Billy Madison? Is it Billy Madison? No. Not Billy Madison, Willie Scott, the golfer, Adam Sadler. Um, yeah. Happy? It's a happy place. Yeah, but it's on a serious note. Um, this channel's just for vlogging stuff and like um, getting opinions out there and stuff like that. I want to hear what other people have got to say. Because there's obviously other lads out there that I even know are too proud to say to say they've got a problem upstairs and do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it, mate. If you've got anxiety, you've got depression, you've got PTSD, you've got whatever, what, what other, what other, um, any other things, bipolar, anything like that. It's just all it is is you need to look at this. Nice round here. Had my dad's haircut. It's going grey a bit though. <laughs> yeah, so maybe just goes for a nice little trek. Starting for trek. And this is where I like to go and I'll lead that. Yeah, well, I'm just rumbling on. There's some other ideas. I don't, as I say, I, I cook that there's people are struggling with money at the minute, but I want to find do something to. I'll part with the NHS and stuff because, as I say, I feel like a different person at the minute. I feel like, I feel, I feel like a sort of... Luna, come here. I feel like a sort of different person at the minute, but in the next minute I can be as down. Luna! I can be down at the bottom, but it's not. I've not been that bad at it. I've not been that bad lately. Um, so, as I say, mate, it's been quite good, but I think it's the medication that I'm on. I've been open with that. I'm on Fluxacine, which is pretty the American Prozac. Um, I've lost a bit of weight. Don't know how much, I'm scared of the scales. But I can't touch my toes at Christmas, I'll tell you that much. Now that's serious business. And what's better than this in the morning? Wildlife, nature. You know what I mean? I spent a lot, a lot of my youth partying, but looking back now, I'd probably have spent out more of the outdoorsy, outdoorsy kind of person. But you can't change your past, but you can change your future. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, so shopkeepers, other people are risking their lives to go out. Um, to work like just say as their B and M. I don't think they get. I don't think they're getting a lot of support. I don't think they're getting a lot of support. But they should be. I know they're not NHS on the front line of female people with actual things. I understand. I get that. But they're still risking their own. Risk. They're risking their own lives, their families' lives, and passing it on to other people. And to be fair. I've got a lot of respect for some people that do that for, for just to get some food, just to stop people from starving. I don't think they get the credit they deserve, so... Um, I'm just, because I'm new to all this, I'm just thinking of ideas and that, but what I want to do to try and help people. Fun, I understand people haven't got money at the minute, so I was going to try and just make, uh, do some presents, do the raffle. I don't, I'm definitely raffling the car off. 
definitely baffling Carol. I just don't know what give me some give me some I, I was gonna I'm giving four five hundred to the NHS but yeah they're not cheap cars so what hundred a ticket fifty numbers so we'll sort some out with that but if you win hundred you got know me I'll do it all by random number selection and the way everyone there who buys the car as well at a few meter distance and then the five hundred pounds will go straight in the envelope I don't know how it's done to the NHS um, and the other thing is, um, yeah, carry on to the old rules if you don't have to go back to work. I understand you've got to work and you've got to feed your family, I understand that. But if I'm on a sick at the minute, I'm not proud of it, but I generally do, I deserve it because what my I went through, I didn't clear my pain last year and my head went, but because I didn't have the bottle to go and see the doctor, I didn't get a penny, so I had a look, I'm lucky to have my mum and dad looked after me last year but now I'm getting on my feet again and um, ready to do nice deep walks and climbs and runs so you know me just getting a bit fitter come on baby you all right you look good at the squirrels <laughs> yeah so if anyone's not feeling right I um, find it hard to speak up about my mental health because I know it took me four years to do so. I used to get anxious. I, I, I didn't really know what anxiety was, you know. I used to get anxious when I was little, so. But all of a sudden, it's just. It's just gone through the roof. But I'm managing it on the, on the medication doctors give me. And I'm feeling really good. But all I'm here to do is help you. I don't care about no views. I don't care. I don't care about. I care about views, I don't care about followings. I got that wrong, I care about views. I don't care about followings, because when people are watching, that's when it matters, it could help somebody out. If everyone knows me, I don't think, they don't think that I get on the camera and starts, what's it called, singing me out to you. Yeah, it's not my style, but if it can save another not, if it can save a life, man, woman, dog, anything, that's what I'd be doing, a bit of good in the world. Yeah. Thanks to YouTube.